had never brought him up on the show. This will be the first time Man. I really just brought him up and talked about him. Like, I listened to, um, uh, was it, I'm chilling with my bro, yeah. and you already know. Yep. I'm chilling with my bro, and you already know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I look at you and I thank God for you because I look at you and you went through the, you know, Nip Nipsey Hussle, he passed away. You were recording with him when he passes away. Pimp C, the same thing. You had the opportunity to work with him. And I'm probably missing somebody. I don't yeah, even know. Big Hawk. Big Hawk. You know I mean? Yeah, it's a I bunch recorded of him. He was, I was the last person to be in the studio with him before he passed away. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, he left my studio and I, I didn't work in it for months. Wow. He left that night. And hours later, he was dead. Man, I didn't even know that. So how yeah. was Big Hawk as a person? I never have, because I had never brought him up on the show. This would be the first time man. I really just brought him up and talked about him. Like, I listened to, um, uh, was it, I'm chilling with my bro, yeah. and you already know. Yep. I'm chilling with my bro, and you already know. And if you want to reach me, hit me on the download. That, you know, I'm Texas, so yeah. I'm going to know the songs. Yeah. But how was he as a person in that studio? A real... Cool dude, man. He was like a big teddy bear, really. Really? <laughs> yeah. The gentle giant. Real cool fella, bro. Genuine. Everything he said, his conversations were all always genuine. So so he was uh Fat Pat's brother. Yeah. You can be my baby, baby, if you keep it real. One love for what thug, let me tell you how I feel. And so when you when you would deal with him, um, he was he wasn't he wasn't in no street. None nah, of that. No. Nah. Because I'm hearing that they mistaked him for not, somebody else. Not when I was dealing with him. I never no, knew I him. He was a, man, the man left my house because he was like, look, I got to, it's time for me to get, I got to get out of here because I got to, you know, get my kids a bath and get them ready for bed. Wow. He was that type of dude, man. So, you know, like, nah, he wasn't like that. So, you hear that, like, hours later that he gets, you know, like I said, I heard it was a mistake. Somebody, they thought it was somebody else or somebody. That's what I heard through the grapevine. But anyway, you, once you hear it, what are you? What are your thoughts? I didn't believe it. I called his phone a million times. Yeah, I just to. didn't want to believe it. You know what I'm saying? So I was, it was, it's crazy when you have a person that we our last conversation was like, man, I'm so happy we're working together. I was like, me too, man. We're gonna do some big things, yada yada yada. We hugged each other and you know dapped each other up. And you know I'm thinking, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna see you tomorrow, and we're gonna go back to work. And it, it, it never happened. Wow, and, and here's the reason I asked you that, leading up to that question about a Big Hawk or, or Pimp C or, or, or Nipsey, is because there's younger guys now mm -hmm. that are producing, that are facing some of the same issues. I just did, uh, uh, what's it, Heartbeats the other night, and he lost J.D. Young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. J.D. Young got killed for something that had nothing to do with him. I, I don't want to say too much online. Of course. But it ain't had nothing to do with him. You would think all that all that stuff, uh, all that stuff would have, you know, caught up to him, but nah, it, it had nothing to do with him. You know what I mean? After he was working with him. Could it be that God sometimes lets you go through these things because other people that you may know may go through some things that you already have done, dealt with, and you'll be able to give them some encouraging words? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it can be that way, but you know we live in a in in a in a in a world where we have the freedom to make our own decisions. Correct. So you know God does have an intervention in some of the things that we do, but some of the a lot of the the things that we go through are because of the d decisions that we make. Correct. I agree you know with that. I mean? So I agree it's like it, it's it's just a tough situation all the way because I don't think that people really realize when you're working with a person in the music industry, especially if you coming from the bottom together, it's a family. So when you lose that person, you're not only losing a family member, but all of the work and everything that you've been putting in has been destroyed. You know what I mean? And, and, I, and sometimes the media family don't understand that part. Right. Like when a person like a rap group member loses their member, it's, they're devastated. It's a lot of things that's going on, a lot of different dynamics. So I think that um, it's it's awful situation to be in, man. When I when I when Nip got killed, it was it was awful. It hurt. I didn't really get to grieve the way I wanted to. I didn't get to say goodbye to him the way I wanted to. All of these things got. I didn't have access to him. I 
because I didn't have we didn't have the same blood, but that's my nephew. Mogul and they know that. Logo on my flow mat. Corsair Chamberlain throwback match my Rolex. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. And I don't think a lot of people understand the hardship that you go through when you don't get the proper closure from people like that. And then too, if you're doing work with them and you're trying to finish things and you're getting interference because people don't understand why you're really doing what you're doing. You know, everybody gets into the money grab thing or, oh, I don't want you doing this, don't do that. We're the family, don't, you know what I mean? But it's, 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 it's a family outside of them lines. Mm -hmm. You know well, what I mean? Can you blame them sometimes because you know, in and you should know this being an entertainment business, you have a lot of people who under false pretense that make it harder for the ones who really have a true heart that want to do no, right. Without a doubt. But that's but you have to do the due diligence enough to figure out who they are. The thing I was asking yeah. was like and and I, I kinda answer my own question, like with you going through it, and, and it does help the other people. The reason I say it helps that you've already been through yes. it. Just like when I interviewed Heartbeats, I brought your name up now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cause sometimes it's hard dealing with certain situations after the person's passed on. Right. Or I might've just brought the situation up because of what me and you discussed yeah. about just sometimes how confrontational it can be trying to get projects processed after that. Mm -hmm. And I asked him and I was like, how tough was it? And he said he just deal with the record label. And you remember me talking to him about that? Mm -hmm. So it was basically, trying to understand how difficult it's been for him to get projects processed when they have so much music in his database because right. he worked with him and mostly only him. Yeah. I mean, it's you definitely have an experience of it is, you know I mean? It's something that you really can uh, build from. You know, I've been through it so many times, I understand it now, you know what I mean? And I talk to people about it all the time. That's why I wrote a book because I wanted people to understand the dynamics of what you're doing. So I can give them the business, mm -hmm. the biz. You got to get them, give them the biz. the biz. If you don't do business with a person, along with being a family member, whatever it is that you're doing and having love for a person, and something happened to them, and you've invested money into a project or time or whatever it is, and you don't have the proper paperwork to cover yourself, to protect you, you're gonna mm -hmm. lose. As you talk about the book, um, how long has the book been out now? Uh, it's been out since March. How has it been going? I've sold right at about eighteen hundred copies. Oh, that's that's good. So and I'm self published. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. So when is the next one coming out? You know, we always. I have ahead. another one called No Spotlights, and I'm get, that it's in um in the stage of getting getting ready to be uh, printed out. What's that and about? It's about my personal travels through the music business and the things that I had to go through and being behind the scenes and all of that. And why the name No Spotlight? Because I feel like I've never been in the spotlight. I've been, I'm this guy that has millions of records sold on his name, but I've never been in the spotlight. But at the same time, I posted something on my threads the other day. I said, do you prefer to have um, fame or wealth? Wealth. And everybody say wealth, but at the same time, the question was, in the entertainment industry, is it possible to have one without the other. And in my mind, let me answer that question on my perspective and you tell me what you think. My perspective of that is the only way to have wealth without the fame is in certain fields within yeah. entertainment like what you have. Yes. You understand what I mean? Cause you mm -hmm. can get the wealth doing what you do, but like you say, you're not, no spotlight. And sometimes you might feel like you want a spotlight because you want the recognition, you want to shine, but with that come other things that you might not want to. Right. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, what is your point of view on that? I don't want the spotlight. <laughs> 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 I think me not having a spotlight has, has nourished my career to keep it where I can continue to reinvent myself mm -hmm. and be fresh to everybody because people look at me like, Oh, that's Mr. Lee. That's the guy that did this. Man, you raised me on your music. Oh, my God. This, you know, because they don't see me all the time. But only a few know that if they yes. do the research. Because right. when growing up listening to music, I'm listening to the music. I'm hearing the artist. I'm seeing the artist. I don't really care about who made the beat unless or, or anything else behind the scene. All I care about is music. Yeah. You understand? Which I would think majority of people like that unless you're just into the music. You're like, ooh, that's a dope beat. That's a dope. Let me see who made that. Right. You know what I mean? So. It's weird that way. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.